Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make jalapeno stuffed with crab and cream cheese. All right, this is a pretty easy process. All I've done is uh, is cut my jalapenos in half. If you kind of look, you can see here that they were complete jalapenos. Sliced them down the middle. And a little different than the ones I did last time. Last time I took them and I filled them from the top with my jerky shooter. Well, we're going to cut them in half, work them this way this time. And all I'm doing is, is taking this jalapeno and I'm going to slice it. And if you leave the stem on, perfectly fine nothing wrong with that gives it a little little some little handle little character on there but I'm going to take a spoon put it right below the stem and just rake out all those seeds just like that take the other one same way go right below the stem rake them out and now I have some nice little boats uh, my son likes to do them this way he does some uh, different different ways I do them. He likes to use a maple cheese, I mean a maple bacon and different things like that. And uh, he, makes a, he makes some excellent ones. Anyways, this is just kind of a play on the way that he does them. A lot of people do them this way. They'll wrap them up in bacon and then uh, put them on the pit. But what I'm going to do is, though, I've already made a stuffing for these. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to fill them with cream cheese. My cream cheese, though, has already been mixed with bacon that was fried and crumbled up, some Tony Sacheries just to taste, and uh, then it also has the crab meat. So I have my mixture. You can kind of see my mixture. Had a big catering the other day, made a bunch of these, had a little bit of the mix left over. So all I do is, is take a little bit of my spoon and I fill that up. Just like that. There we go. Anyways, that's one. So I'm going to finish filling these. When I get them all done, we'll go and we'll put them on the pit. All right. We have all of our jalapenos stuffed with our cream cheese, bacon, and crab. And what I'm going to do is, is transfer them to a, to a wire rack. I'm just going to move them to this rack. It'll work better on the grill of moving them around than uh, having them straight on the, the rack of the, of the grill. And these are going to cook just fine. Now, tonight, I'm not using any kind of fancy grill. I'm using what we call a Texas hibachi. Anyways, for y'all that don't know what a Texas hibachi is, it is just a 55-gallon drum grill. They sell them here at one of the local grocery stores, HEB, for about $89.95. And I tell you what, you can do some great grilling on one. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a pit to put out some good food. These... uh. These pits are superb. Nothing wrong with them at all. And uh, we cook on this one quite a bit here at the house. It's easy. It's convenient. Throw a bag of charcoal in it. Throw some wood in it. Light it up. Heats up quick and you can barbecue good. But now that I have these on my rack, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to spread some uh, smoky serrano chili powder on them. And this is a real fine powder. And all I'm going to do is, is sprinkle it right across the top. Now, for some of y'all that maybe don't want the heat, uh, you can use paprika. Paprika will work great. It gives you a little color across the top. Uh, you could use some more of the uh, Tony Sacheries and put that up on the top of it. That would give it some color also. But we're just going to put these on there like this. I've got them all done. Make sure you don't rub your eyes after you've been handling this chili powder. won't do them any good at all. But just spread it out. Put a little more on that one right there. All right, I think these are ready to go. We're going to get them on the grill, see how they turn out. Okay, here we are at the pit. I just have some kinks with charcoal and some mesquite chunks on here. I'm going to set these over the top of it. 
and let the fire and the smoke do its, do its time. It'll probably take us 45 minutes, an hour to get these cooked. So keep the lid closed, keep it flowing, take it easy for a little while, and we'll come back and see how they're doing. All right, it's been about 45 minutes. Check these while ago, spun them in for in, and uh, they were looking pretty good then, so I bet you they're about ready now. Let's check them out. Oh, yeah. Those are looking good. See if I can get these out. They are bubbling away. Looking nice. All right, here we go. We have them. They are jalapenos stuffed with crab, cream cheese, bacon, Tony Sacheries for seasoning. And of course, across the top, we sprinkle a little smoky Serrano chili pepper. Thank you all for coming again to Texas Style Cuisine. We appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know you liked it. Subscribe our channel. Come back, leave some comments on the bottom. If you have something you want us to try, send me a message. Let me know what you'd like to see done, and I'll see if I can get it on Texas Style Cuisine. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for coming. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen